everybody, it's Melanie, and I'm here again with... Michael. That was a little better this time. And we have promised you an Easter candy taste test somewhat challenge, I'm going to say. So I was at Walmart, and I noticed all of the lovely Easter peeps. So we're gonna taste test these for you guys. So first of all, we've got Pete's Delights, and this is blueberry with a chocolate um, on the bottom. They're like dipped in chocolate. And I don't know if I'm gonna like these because I don't like chocolate, and they are dark chocolate, which I really don't like. We have Fruit Punch. We have party cake. Not birthday party cake, party cake. Well, there's a candle on it. It could be birthday party cake. We have cotton candy. Bubble gum. There's a lot of pink ones. Sour watermelon. And this one I think I'm the most excited and the most scared about because I love sour candy, but these are peeps. They're supposed to be sweet. So can you make a sweet peep sour? We're gonna find out. And last, but definitely not least, peep Oreos, woo! So because we have so many to go through, we're going to split the peeps because I cannot eat seven peeps just in one sitting, just can't do it. Not not healthy. So, what do you want to try first? Um, I think we're saving Oreos for last. Okay. Um, I'm gonna save this one for last. I'm gonna save that one for the Oreos too. Sure. So. So pick one. Okay. Um, cotton candy. Sure. <laughs> we're gonna go with cotton candy first. No, no. Should've brought some scissors. Maybe. Oh, oh, I got it. I, oh, back uh -huh. rip. Look at that. Ripped right open. We're gonna have to put these in a plastic bag. To use the one gallon Ziploc. Yeah. I hope we have enough left. We might have to come back some more. Oh my gosh, I can smell. The cotton candy. Is, is it marshmallow or is it cotton candy inside? No, it's marshmallow. It's okay. sticky, ooey, gooey marshmallow. Sorry, if you don't like murdering peeps, look away now. Mm. Looks like Pepto Bismol with color. It isn't, it's lighter than Pepto Bismol. Oh my, that's just like going to the circus and getting cotton candy. Hmm. It's, I like it. It doesn't dissolve in your mouth like cotton candy, but the little sprinkles on it kind of give it that same crunch when you bite the cotton candy. You know how you bite it and right as you bite through, there's the little grit of sugar crystals. Yes, yes, yes. And it tastes just like cotton candy. Okay. Cotton candy, two thumbs up. I like this one. Okay, what do we want to do next? That's the next one on the pile. Party, party cake? cake? Party cake. Party, party Not cake. birthday party cake. Party cake. Maybe this one won't rip open. Let's go for the next. Don't try this at home if you're young. Get your parents help to open these. Don't do what I do. I stabbed myself in the thumb with this knife the last time I opened the box. And I, I'm clumsy, so I should probably not be using knives at all, but I can smell the birthday cake before I even have this completely open. It, it smells like cake batter, like the, um, the, the chapstick just put out that cake batter flavor. That's what it smells like. So the other ones are pink inside. These are... Kind of white and cream. Pee -pee. 
Yeah, I'll let you split this one. I split the last one. <sighs> it smells like birthday cake. There we go. Maybe a very slight, subtle hint of cake. Like right at the end, after you chewed on it for a minute. But mostly just marshmallow, sweet, yeah. sweetness, sugar, sugar. There, that is the secret ingredient, sugar. I'm sure there's also high fructose corn syrup. Okay, sour watermelon, bubble gum, or fruit punch next. Um, we'll look at the next one. I want to save that one. Let's try fruit punch. This or is the one I think will be the best. Is fruit punch. Let's do it. Or should we do all the sweet ones first? <laughs> there are no non-sweet ones. That is a false dichotomy. Oh, yep. I can smell the fruit. I mean, as soon as it opened, even the slightest little slit in the package, the smell is just like, whew. He can't smell anything, so... These do not have sprinkles, but they do have that coating of sugar. I've got sugar all over my fingers. And these are like a pinky red inside. There it goes. Definitely tastes like fruit punch. It's like you skinned a peep and sprinkled red Kool-Aid on it. Not like Hawaiian red fruit punch. It's not that strong, but it, it, it's it, it's like it's almost to that level, if that makes any sense. Yet. So that's what three down, four to go. And try bubble gum next. I just love on the package, like the the peep is chewing bubble gum and blowing bubbles. I just thought that was so cute. There's a recipe on the back of that. Did you notice? Recipe? Yes. Peep's nest cake. Hmm. Um, I bet that is gonna be super sweet. I didn't have a chance to read it, but my guess is Make a cake and put peeps on it is probably the recipe. Have you ever opened up a package of bubble yum, pink bubble gum, like the original bubble gum flavor and smelled it? That's what these smell like. Let me split this one. This is exactly the same color inside and out. There's no difference. Beginning, are these like chocolate eyes they have? Look like little chocolate drops on the eyes. No. I'm sorry, Pete. I feel like I don't want to swallow this because you're not supposed to swallow your bubble gum. <laughs> Because oh. that is the taste of bubble gum. No, it's not bubble gum. There's a thing this tastes like. It tastes like bubble gum. It tastes like bubble yum. Not bubble yum? Bubblicious? It tastes like bubble gum. I think there's a candy this tastes like. Well, that candy's probably bubble gum flavored. to eat all those extra pieces of peat. I know. Here goes sour watermelon. Like I said, this is the one I'm most excited and the most scared of. It smells like um, airheads. The, the watermelon airheads. Did you guys ever, do you remember those? Do they still even make airheads? Now, if they did this right, these should be red on the inside. They are. <gasps> they are, they're, well, they're pink on the inside. 
It's probably just focusing on Michael's face. <laughs> now it's focusing on my face. Murdering all the peeps. Sorry, peeps. I'm not disappointed. Tastes like those airheads. Maybe not quite as strong, but it's good. You know, the hints of Jolly Rancher level watermelon in it. I approve of these. Watermelon candy never really tastes anything like watermelon. No. Well, neither does strawberry. Right. And banana, but there's a reason for that. Well, yeah, it's because all the, ba the bananas died and they had to genetically engineer new bananas. Sort of. We may get those back. If you ever eat banana flavored candy and wonder why it doesn't taste like bananas, it's because in the 1930s when all the flavor chemists were coming up with these artificial fruit flavors, the most popular banana served in the United States was a Cavendish banana, and those have since gone extinct um, due to, let's say, some kind of fungus. And as a result, the bananas you get in the store now are a Gros Michel banana, which has a much milder flavor. Um, some people are trying to bring the Cavendish bananas back, so you may someday get to eat bananas that taste like banana flavored candy again. No, thank you. you. You can have those bananas. I'll, I'll stick with the ones we have now. I don't like banana flavored candy and I don't like strawberry flavored candy. My favorite candy is red. I can smell the chocolate in these. That's all I can smell is chocolate. So these are the blueberry dipped in decadent dark chocolate, which I do not like. These are like adult peeps. Yeah, they're called peep delights. You can see the chocolate dipped bottom. So I'm just gonna take a tiny, tiny bit of this one. And they are blue on the inside. But I can't smell any blueberry, I just smell chocolate. All I taste is chocolate. It's chocolate marshmallow. You can have that one. I've had some other candies like that. The blueberry doesn't add anything. It's kind of an I don't taste, taste blueberry at all. And you taste something other than baseline marshmallow, though. Yeah, I taste chocolate. Chocolate's taking over everything. Mm -mm, no. The delights are all yours. You can have them. Last, but definitely not least, how are you? I thought these were like a joke when we bought, saw them on the internet. What was it posting on Facebook or something? Yeah. And they were doing Photoshop with different kinds of Oreos. Yeah. And people with one of them. So I just thought it was part of the joke, but they're actually real. And they are bright pink. You want your own for this one? Sure. We've heard stories on the internet that they turn other things bright pink a few hours later. I don't think we need to tell them that. It's part of the review. <sighs> Here it goes. Tastes like an Oreo. Yeah. Like a golden Oreo. I don't taste any difference, do you? No, they're fine. Oreos are good. So these are good. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to be a difference in texture or flavor. I don't taste any peep magic. I just taste... Does it smell like a peep? Do peeps have a smell? It smells like a cookie. It doesn't have a peep texture either. It has the regular cream texture to it. So I wonder if they just colored the cream pink. And because it's pink, they said it's peep. It says with marshmallow peat flavor cream. So the cream is supposed to taste like peeps, but it doesn't. Yeah. 
That phrasing's misleading. Does it mean it's marshmallow cream? Or does it mean it's cream that tastes like marshmallow peeps? No, marshmallow peeps flavor cream. And so peeps flavor marshmallow cream. Yeah. I approve of them anyway. I mean, they taste like golden Oreos, which I like more than regular Oreos. Again, I don't like chocolate. That's just me. So it was your favorite sour watermelon as you predicted? Yes. Although cotton candy was surprisingly good. Is my tongue pink? Mm. Yes. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's really pink. Oh my. Mm. <laughs> well, I think that's all the sugar I can handle in one sitting. I think I'm done. How about you? I think you have to finish all the peeps that you did. <sighs> okay, fine. Use I will eat. of those. No, 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 no. I'll eat the bites. The rest are going in Two plastic bags. I'm not eating. No, I don't even like those. Hmm. Those are yours. Take them to work. Hmm. So, if you like this video, you can hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. Also, remember if you want to see more videos or get notifications of more videos, um, hit that bell button down there if you want to. Um, you can find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash shivering shimmy. I'm also shivering shimmy on Twitter and Instagram. And I think that's it for us. We're going to pack up the rest of the peeps and we're going to go watch Ghost in the Shell. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye.